Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this video, we will finish off paper two from the CIE ICT IGCC course. We are doing a February, March 2021 paper. So paper two is a practical paper, which is two hours and 30 minutes long. If you check out the previous videos, I've completed document production, data manipulation and mail merge. So in this video, we will be looking at presentations. So let's scroll down to the end of this um, paper. So page 10, you can see task five presentation. OK, so you are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed. Slides must be formatted to display a title and a bulleted list. OK, so to create the PowerPoint, uh, what we need to do is use this file here. So question 22, create a new presentation of six slides using the file m 21 stores press um, that RTF. Let me check my source folder. Do we see the file um, for the PowerPoint? Can't see it. Uh, yeah, it's this one here. So the first thing we need to do is just open up PowerPoint. OK. And then the next thing we need to do is click on open, browse, go to your source folder. And find the file. OK, so at this point, guys, as I've said in all my past videos, it's really, really important you click on all files to see all of the different files that which we can open up. So we need to open up the um, RTF file, ending in stores or m 21 stores press.rtf. So it's this one here. And what we should have is six slides, which we do. And before I continue, I'm going to save this into my folder really, really quickly. Um, save it into my files. Keep the same title and save. Okay, so we have a presentation of six slides. Okay, we are going to, for question 23, use a master slide to display the following features. But let's just look at this first here. So make sure that master slide items appear in the same position on every slide. So this is really important. So when you go to view, slide master, you need to go to top level slide master. Anything you do here will appear on every slide. So for example, if I was to just to put a shape like a star, it appears on every single layout. And then if you close the slide master, you can see the star appears on every slide and, and also every layout. So if I go back to slide master, what do we need to do specifically? So guys, make sure you go to the top level. Let's delete the star. OK, so we're in the top slide master to ensure every item appears on every slide. Uh, we'll have a look at the overlap later on. So use a master slide to display the following features. Slide numbers to the top right. And your name, center number and candidate number in the bottom left corner. So we can do these two in one go. So um, you'll see on the slide master, the hashtag is for the slide number. This is a space for you to um, insert any text, like your name. And then obviously this is a date. But to make these items visible, the first thing you do is click on Insert, Head and Footer. Click on Slide Number, and you can see this little box here is now visible. And we can move this into a specific location in a second. And also we want to make this box here, the footer, visible. So click. And what do we need to include? So we need to include your name, center number, and candidate number. So name for center number, I will use 5678, candidate number 1234. Apply to all. And slide numbers are in the top right. So if we move this in the top right, and what we need to do is make sure there's no overlap. So right now we have an overlap, so I'm going to ensure there is no overlap between this and this cell. OK, and your name, center number, candidate number in the bottom left corner. 
So I'm just going to move this date here. It's not visible anyway. And the name is going to be in the bottom left. And what we're going to do is also align this to the bottom left also. Okay. A filled arrow in the bottom right corner to look like this. So an arrow doesn't say anything about the color. Um, let's just move this like this because we need to make some space. Um, I don't want any overlap. So if we go to insert shape, let's find the arrow uh, here. And in the bottom right corner, we can have the arrow which has been filled in as a, a color. So bottom right corner to look like this and a three to four point red line across the slide below the title so we have a title here uh, we need to put what color line was it again uh, red line three to four points so we can click on insert shapes line and we can draw a line like this and then we can double click on the line shape outline make it red and then if you go to weight we can choose uh, anything that's between three to four so three points is fine right so what we have in the slide master is the slide number uh, your name in the bottom left the arrow bottom right and a line across the title oh so a line just below the title as it says um, here Done. Close the slide master. And what you can do is you can go to print preview and you can check all the slides and you can see the header and footer details are showing, uh, the arrow is showing, and also the line as well. Save the changes. Right, on the first slide, place your name after the text store manager. So first slide is here and uh, after this text here we can insert our name or your name. Move the third slide with the title purpose of the stores to become the second slide. So we need to move this above here. So now it's the second slide. Okay, and let me save the changes before we move forward. Right, now for question 26, we need to find this file, m 21 chart and create a pie chart. So let me find that file, uh, this one here, double click to open. Okay, what do we need to do? So let's have a quick look at the question. So we need to create a pie chart. The chart must show the supply companies and the number of products they supply. So the company name and the number of products they supply. Uh, label a chart with suppliers. Um, okay, so let's make the pie chart now, first of all. So we need to include um, the suppliers, companies, and the number of products they supply. So we can highlight these two columns. Okay, insert, select pie chart. You can see we have a legend down here, but we can come to that in a second. We need to keep it. Label the chart with the title suppliers. So let me just change this title here to suppliers. So make sure you're not making any spelling mistakes when you insert uh, the title. So we've done that one, them two actually. Uh, let me get rid of the legend. So it says do not display the legend, which is um, this here. So we can just delete that. Okay, and what we need to do now is label the segments for the company names and values. So we can click on the graph, click on plus data labels. Um, I'm going to go across. Oh, let's click on data labels. more options okay so label options I've just clicked here 
And what do we want to show? We want to show the supplies company and a number of products. Okay, so let me come to this one. Label segments for the company names and values. So what we want to show is the value which has been um, selected and the category name. Okay, so we got the category name. Okay, and we got the value as well, number of products. Place this chart on a title. Okay, so we've done this now. So let me double check. We got um, a chart which shows the suppliers' companies and the number of products they supply. Yep, we highlighted the right cells. We've labeled it. We labeled each segment with a company name and the values. We've got rid of the legend. And then we're going to be placing this chart on the slide with the title Our Local Approved Suppliers to the left of the bulleted text. Before we do that, let me just have a quick look. Um, some of these values we can't really see. Um, I know in the past exam paper they were specific about where they want these labels to be. Um, in this exam paper they're not. If I click on um, outside end, what does that do? Inside end, center, outside end. I think that might be the best one. Um, let me just make this a bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, I think that is the uh, best thing that we could have done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this chart to this slide here, our local approved um, suppliers, which is this slide here. And the chart needs to go to the left of the bullet points. So making sure there's no overlap. And um, we can paste in the chart. And if you want, whoops, what have we done there? Um, just control Z. If you want, you can increase the size of this pie chart as well. Okay, so we've got a title. We got each segment labeled. Okay, with the company name and also the value. Okay, so I'm happy with, with that. Let's save the changes. Okay, the next thing we need to do is go to apply the same transition between all slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to transitions and I'm going to select any, uh, fade for example, and click on apply to all. Okay, so if I go into this slideshow view, so if I click, you can see there's a transition on every slide. Okay, to preview this or to show this, um, so what we need to do now for the evidence is to show a screenshot to show that you apply the same transition to all slides. So we can go to view, uh, slide sorter, and you can see this little star here, which basically shows we have applied the same transitions. You can click on here as well to show this. Okay, so let me take a screenshot in the evidence to show the transition has been applied. So we're going to use the snipping tool again. And we can copy this. This is evidence uh, 11. paste okay done I don't think that's the end of the evidence document I think at some point we are going to be printing yep task 6 but let's leave that for now done okay so now we need to print the presentation as a handout with six slides to a page make sure your name center number candidate number appear on this printout so we go to file and we go to print six slides one two three four five six and my name is here at the bottom and also on the first slide as well so you can go ahead and print this and double check um, against the slide mask so again if you want um, to see if all of the components are showing so it should have been a red line below the title uh, slide number in the top right of each slide uh, which we can see here your candidate details bottom left the arrow bottom right and making sure 
nothing is overlapping anything else yep that looks good to me so we can go ahead and print okay and print only the slide of your title or local approved suppliers um, make sure the slide uh, fits the full page so we're going to print the slide with the graph or the, the chart sorry as a full slide so it's slide 4 so what you do you go to print this time we want to print slide 4 uh, full page slide you can see your names there and you can go ahead and you can print this off as well okay so I think we are finished with PowerPoints 15 marks in total and in task 6 is to print off the evidence document make sure you don't forget I've seen quite a few times where people have forgotten to print off the evidence document so before you print the evidence document go to print preview check to see your name candidate details appear on every page and let's go to the first page so you can see the first few screenshots are from the word uh, editing or uh, document production part uh, page layout uh, text layout uh, styles then we have the typical screenshots from um, the database task showing the tables with the field names and the data types and here's a form that we created in the earlier task this is the relationship and this is proof of the calculations we did within the report and evidence of one of the reports being exported as a PDF the filtering in mail merge and finally the transi transition in uh, PowerPoints so you can go ahead and you can print this and double check your printouts all the time we've come to the end of this paper guys so February March 2021 so again I really appreciate all of the time you guys take to watch my videos I'm hoping they do help you in your exams uh, please like share and subscribe and finally for me good luck in your exams take care all the best bye bye